What's up guys, CP Moddy here back with another video and in back in October of 2017 I picked up a one terabyte Seagate drive after seeing a lot of people on the internet reporting a really bad life with this new lineup of drives I thought hey why not test it out for myself to really see what kind of a difference there was between previous generation Seagate drives and the slightly newer revamped Guardian series of drives to see whether those claims were really real or not. So actually for those who weren't following the series it was back in October that I picked it up and we're right back at it again in October of 2018 to see what is going on with these drives. Now back in the original October I picked up my first Seagate drive. That drive then went ahead and died and then started to work in March of 2018. Then it finally went ahead and completely kicked the bucket and died in June of 2018 which I then got a replacement which was DOA. Then I got another replacement which died and then we're on number three drive for our test here today. So this series is really to put the claims of the people who were saying that Seagate drives are super useless and super unreliable to the test to see how they go. Now this guy has been placed in my server and ran 24 hours a day, seven days a week as the main C drive of the system, which you shouldn't be running a non-enterprise drive as a server drive, but anyway, we'll get onto that in just a moment, which a lot of people would definitely say is unfair. Now, definitely with that being said, I do agree that running a non a 24 specific drive or 24 hour specific drive as 24 hours a day, seven days a week is really not fair. And I totally agree with anyone out there who's going to be pointing out that this is an unfair test, an unrealistic test. I totally agree, but the point of this test is to see an accelerated kind of time frame because I'm not going to be waiting around for like 10 years to see what happens. I want to see this in an accelerated small little window. Now, one thing that I don't really bring up in any of these videos is this is not the only drive in my server. I have a number of server drives, but also too a number of other consumer drives which are absolutely perfect. I've got one from WD and one from Toshiba both of which are perfectly fine. Heck, the Toshiba drive is a two and a half inch drive, which is so not designed to go in anything that's this kind of level of usage. And for those people yelling at me that they're that this is an unfair test, yeah, totally agree with you. But also too, do keep in mind there's Toshiba drives and WD consumer drives in there that have stood up absolutely fine with tons and tons of hours on them with absolutely no failures whatsoever. So anyway, back to the update that we are here with today. Today, we're just taking a look at seeing what's going on. Thankfully, however, we haven't had any problems whatsoever since we dropped in the third drive in our system. Now, CK claims a 24,000 hour rated lifespan of this drive, which is really hard to hit if you're just using your computer in day-to-day -day kind of operations. An hour here, two hours there, maybe you're playing games on the weekend for five hours. You're not gonna be burning through that 2,400 hours very, very quickly. Now, if you're running it as 24 hours a day, seven days a week for basically all year, yeah, you're definitely gonna run through that guy really, really quick. And for us, I've gone ahead and racked up 2,900 hours, so it's better time that we check in here. So kicking it into Crystal Disk Info, we see how it's ticking along, and honestly, looking at our Crystal Disk Info here, it's not too bad. With nothing really standing out or shouting out in the way that it was when it was dying, honestly, it is doing just fine here. Now, yes, this drive has only powered up 10 times, and that's mainly because it's been in a server. It's not shutting down all the time, it's not turning back on, it's literally just running all time. So yes, that 10 times here is definitely correct numbers. Now, in terms of hours, again, we have about 2,900 hours, which is again, a lot more than the 2,400 hours rated there. Now, for some people, they do think that the 2,400 hours is just what is rated per year, whereas others say that it is in the entire lifespan. I called up Seagate and the rep that I did talk to said that the 2,400 hours was for the entire life of the drive, or at least the entire warranty period. The drive is rated to run longer, but they're only going to warranty it uh, for 2,400 hours. So whatever you want to make a conclusion out of that, I've used more than what you should be using in a year or within its warranty period. Anyway, it's still running fine. Then we go ahead and jump into Crystal Disk Mark where we see actually nothing too bad going on here. Sure, it's within margin of error of our original testing and yeah, it's definitely gonna be slightly slower, but it's not as bad as it was when say it died and then got better, but overall isn't going along too bad. Personally though, working in the tech space, I've seen this time and time again where someone buys something and it's really, really awesome and they can only say positive things and someone else buys the exact same thing and they've only had 
had a terrible experience and can only say terrible things. And I think that's what's happening here with these Seagate drives. Now that I've had three of them, I've had quite a broad range of failures and also to DOAs that it's kind of given me a nice big kind of range and look over what is going on with this Seagate drives. The system that I'm running today with the drive in there is working perfectly fine and in day-to-day -day operations I notice no difference. Using it as a squid web cache for the local office right here was perfectly fine. Everything about the system is exactly as good as all the other good known drives that I do own in my office. So for me, I don't really see that much of a problem with this particular Seagate drive. However, if I was only to stop the test on our last few drives, I would have concluded these are terrible drives. And that really comes back to the whole thing of everyone can have a totally different experience. Again, basing our conclusion off the first drive would have been a really negative conclusion. Hey, it didn't really last that long and it died really quick. Basing it off the second drive I got would have been terrible because it was DOA. And then basing it off our third test would have been a lot more positive because the drive is still absolutely working. And I guess that's not only limited to, to just Seagate drives. I know there's WD drives, there's Toshiba drives, HGST. I think every hard drive manufacturer on the market has had someone who's had a terrible experience, but at the same time on the flip side, someone else who's had a really positive one. So I think it comes down to a bit of a lack of the draw when it comes to these kind of hard drive tests. In our test that we did uh, see here today, absolutely no problems with this particular drive. No clicking, no chattering, no extra noises, nothing that would be concerning to a hard drive out there. And all hard drive fail, it's just whether they're going to fail sooner or later. And I guess this is also to come into the fact that we've seen how hard drives died. We've seen DOA, we've seen them die in the first 1,000 hours, we've seen them die in the first 2,000 hours. There's really a long span and a lot of different markers that could be killing a drive. But it really comes down to three, maybe four major deaths of a hard drive. Number one, DOA, which is what we've experienced. Number two is dying within the first 1,000 hours, which is also to what I experienced. And number three is generally dying within the first 2,000 hours. It's made it just over that 1,000 mark, but maybe the motor might be slightly faulty, maybe the read head may not be the best, and it dies in that 2,000 marker. And then the final point that it might actually go ahead and die is after like five years of continuous operation where it's just solid, 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 and then one day the motor starts to give out as all things mechanical will start to let go over time or maybe something else mechanical fails in the drive and I guess this also too is same for basically any drive on the market so overall this little update is actually a pretty positive one I've had no real problems with it the drive's been perfectly fine and boom taking a look at our Seagate drives again or rather our uh, crystal disc mark compared to our other Seagate drives uh, they're also too once again absolutely fine so I'd have to say for this particular drive wasn't too bad However, I said this exact same line in our last video and then the drive died. So, whoops, we may be back in like a few days time with another dead drive, but I really don't think that's the case this time. So that then brings us to our quick little TLDR time of this little update video. The drive itself is clocking along really well and you may notice I'm not actually holding it here today because I don't want to take it out of the server and potentially break it by shaking it around in a video. Uh, B-roll will definitely be perfectly fine for here today, uh, but all in all, this drive has been clicking along not too bad. And when it comes to actual deaths of the drive, we've experienced all different types from DOA, dead drive, We've experienced them die within the first 1,000 hours and also to within the first 2,000 hours And I think this time round is a bit of third time lucky and also to we're gonna see this drive go for maybe three four five years even 24 hours a day seven days a year because seven days a year seven days a week rather I think this thing's gonna last itself quite a long time because we've had quite a few fail But this one may be just our third time lucky drive here and again, this is really a conclusion that you can draw for a lot of other drives out there. And it's a bit of a problem because it, I've actually proved that Seagate Drive can be reliable, but also too can be super unreliable, which is a bit of a problem here. But what I'm going to do is continue doing these tests. I'm going to leave it on my server 24 hours a day, seven days a week for the next two, three, four, five years. And I'm going to keep you guys updated maybe once a year, just checking in on what the drive is doing, whether there's been any failures or what's going on. So you guys can kind of get an idea of what's going on with this Seagate Drive. But I have to say, this particular drive has really, really impressed me. But guys, let me know down in that comment section, when do you think this drive is gonna die? Last time I said it was running perfectly, it died literally within 24 hours of recording that video, so uh, maybe jinxing myself once again. But do let me know in that comment section what you think of these drives and how long you think it's going to last. Also too, while you're down there, check that description box if you wanna pick up one of these Seagate drives. I've also do left some links to WD drives, which we've also to use, HGST and also to Toshiba. But guys, 
Thanks all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.